In this video, we're going to measure the diameter of this rubber ball, then we're going to find its radius, then we're going to calculate its volume, then we're going to measure its mass, and then we're going to find the density. So this is all related to spheres. Okay, so first off, what we need to do is we need to get out our little calipers, and we find the, the diameter of it. 57.23 millimeters and I'm going to change that to 5.723 centimeters. Now in order to find the radius That's going to be the diameter divided by 2. So that's going to be 5.723 divided by 2, 2.862. That's the radius. Now, volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So that's going to be 4 over 3 times pi times 2.862 centimeters cubed. So on my calculator, I'm going to do 4 divided by 3 in parentheses times pi times my answer cubed. So I do second, so it goes answer caret 3 98.15 98.15 centimeters cubed. That's the volume of that ball. Now, I'm going to measure the mass of this ball. 113.46 grams. And finally, I'm going to find the density, density is mass over volume, so it's going to be 113.46 grams over 98.15 centimeters cubed. So I go 113.46 divided by my answer, and I get 1.16 grams per centimeters cubed. Now, just a little fact. The density of water is one gram per centimeter cubed. So should this ball sink or float in water? And it sinks because its density is greater than the density of water.